Recently on the channel, we've been discussing some of the first ever Dark Lords of the Sith, and that how the first true Sith Lords were actually Jedi turned Dark Jedi, who eventually located the Sith species in unknown space, and adopted their order and philosophy, thus becoming a version of the more modern Sith Lords that we know normally from Star Wars history. For this video, we will be discussing one of these Jedi who would eventually become one of the more modern Sith Lords, a Sith Lord who many consider to be the first ever true Dark Lord of the Sith, and a Jedi turned Sith who was the first ever Dark Lord. Today we'll be discussing Ajunta Paul, but also his relationship with another notable Jedi turned Sith, that individual being Darth Revan. We'll explore how the two of them actually met each other on the Sith world of Korriban, and Ajunta Paul's great warning to Darth Revan concerning the dark side of the Force and the Sith overall. After the Dark Jedi were exiled into unknown space, and after discovering the Sith species, Ajunta Paul was recognized as a god among the Sith. Because of the Dark Jedi, advanced technology, including the proto-sabers, the Sith Lords instantly began worshipping them. Ajunta Paul specifically though, as he realized that this Sith species was extremely powerful in the dark side of the Force. They simply lacked the knowledge that the Dark Jedi possessed. Still though, the Sith had discovered something special. Ajunta Paul realized that the perfect merging of the Dark Jedi and the Sith species would create a nigh unstoppable Force. A Force loyal to power and the dark side of the Force, and the first ever Dark Lord of the Sith was born. Ajunta Paul was the first ever Dark Lord to establish an empire under the Sith. Ajunta Paul was also a rare Force user as all of the Sith unanimously agreed that he was the one true Dark Lord without question, with many of the Sith growing to consider him again as a deity. Over Ajunta's reign, he expanded the Sith Order to many different planets, including the nearby planet of Zios. It was here that Ajunta Paul would reign for several years, until ultimately going to his grave. Ajunta Ajunta Paul's body was eventually returned to the Sith homeworld of Korriban. There, the Sith species built him a massive tomb and temple, in an area that would later go on to be considered the Valley of the Dark Lords, where other notable Sith Lords would be buried as well. Unknown to most of the Sith Lords though, Ajunta Paul had dabbled in a new Sith alchemy spell that had actually bound his body and spirit together. Therefore, Ajunta Paul's spirit lived within this tomb, unable to exit it. But still, his influence could be felt throughout Korriban and many Sith Lords believed that Ajunta Paul was still alive in some regard, a part of the literal planet. Thousands of years later, someone would finally enter the tomb of Ajunta Paul, an individual who is known as the Prodigal Knight, Revan. Still a Jedi at this point in time, Revan was just beginning to understand the powers of the Sith, and personally was contemplating turning to the dark side of the Force. However, he had not committed fully. Revan had been sent to the tomb of Ajunta Paul to search for an ancient artifact, the double-bladed sword, that belonged to the first ever Sith Lord that was rumored to be the source of Ajunta Paul's power. When Revan entered the tomb, the spirit of Ajunta Paul eventually revealed itself to him. The two of them then had a lengthy conversation as Ajunta Paul sensed the great power within Revan. Ajunta eventually revealed that he regretted turning to the dark side of the Force, a statement that utterly shocked Revan. Revan was dumbstruck as he could not believe that the first ever Dark Lord of the Sith regretted becoming a Sith to begin with. Ajunta went on to explained that the Sith had a major problem with infighting, and that the thing that constantly destroyed them time and time again was not the Jedi or the Republic, but the Sith themselves. The Sith constantly sabotaged themselves in their pursuit of power. Because of this, Ajunta Paul felt as if he had created the thing that would always hinder his order, the Sith themselves. Ajunta explained to Revan that after being trapped within his tomb for thousands of years, he had a lot to think about, and ultimately regretted all of the bloodshed, becoming lost in his own power. Ultimately, Ajunta revealed that he was never the god that the Sith species believed him to be. Far less, in fact. Ajunta was simply a lost and fallen Jedi Knight. It was after this statement that Revan claimed the sword of Ajunta Paul, but as opposed to destroying the spirit of the ancient Sith Lord, Revan offered him a path to the light. Revan explained that the suffering of the dead Sith Lord could come to an end if he simply embraced his wrongdoing and accepted the light side of the Force yet again. By turning to the light side of the Force, Ajunta Paul was eventually allowed to join with it and was finally at peace. I had a name once. Ajunta Paul. Yes, that was my name. I was one of many. We were servants of the dark side. Sith Lords we called ourselves. So proud. In the end, we were not so proud. We hid. Hid from those we had betrayed. We fell. 
and I knew it would be so. But that was the story on how Revan eventually met the first ever Dark Lord of the Sith, and actually convinced them to turn to the light side of the Force. More importantly, that the first ever true Dark Lord admitted that he was wrong. But what are your thoughts on this encounter between Revan and Ajunta Paul? And did you know much about the first ever Sith Lord before this video? As always, my friends, thank you guys so much for watching. May the Force be with you, and have a great day. Before you go, be sure to check out my other channel, The Marvelous Wave, where we talk all about the Marvel Cinematic Universe, including news, breakdowns, and theories about all upcoming and past Marvel movies. Link to the channel is in the description below.